Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dr. Jamel, one half of the Twin Doctor Duo that makes up Twin Doctors TV. You've got questions, we have got answers. So today, we are discussing a question that patients always ask my brother Idris and I. And that question is, how many calories should they be eating if they want to lose weight? Now, the answer to that question, of course, depends on how much weight you're trying to lose and on how quickly you're trying to lose that weight. Regardless, though, of how much weight you're trying to lose and regardless of how quickly you're trying to lose that weight, though, Every person trying to lose weight needs to understand the importance of the number 3,500. Now, why is the number 3,500 so important? The number 3,500 is so important because every 3,500 calories amounts to one pound of body weight. Did I lose you? If I did, let me explain. For every 3,500 calorie excess that a person eats, he or she will gain one pound. And conversely, for every 3,500 calorie deficit that a person does not eat, he or she will lose a pound. And it's really just that simple. So now armed with this really powerful knowledge, let's put it into practice. If you want to know how many calories you should be eating while trying to lose weight, first you'll need a calorie calculator. Now calorie calculators are literally everywhere on the internet. So just Google the term calorie calculator and one will pop up. Once you've found a calorie calculator, use it to enter your age, height, gender, weight, and activity level. The calculator will then quickly tell you how many calories you need to eat every day to maintain your weight. It looks like I currently need to eat roughly 2,675 calories a day to maintain my weight. But obviously, if you're trying to lose weight, your goal isn't to maintain your weight. Your goal is to lose your weight. So next, take the number of calories that the calorie calculator tells you that you need to eat every day to maintain your weight and subtract 500 calories from that number. Now, if you eat this number of calories every day, you will be eating 500 fewer calories a day than you need to eat to maintain your weight. This means that you will have a 500 calorie deficit every day. Since there are seven days in the week, this 500 calorie deficit every day will result in you having a 3,500 calorie deficit at the end of the week. Now you remember the number 3,500, don't you? And you remember its significance, right? That's right, 3,500 calories equals one pound of body weight. So your 3,500 calorie deficit at the end of each week means that you will lose one pound a week. But what if you wanna lose two pounds a week? Well, if 3,500 calories equals one pound of body weight, then you guessed it, 7,000 calories equals two pounds of body weight. So to lose two pounds per week, you will need to have a 7,000 calorie deficit each week. This means, of course, that you will have to ingest 1,000 fewer calories each day than the calorie calculator tells you that you need to eat every day to maintain your weight. Seven days in a week, 1,000 times seven, 7,000 calorie deficit at the end of the week, 7,000 calorie deficit equals, that's right, two pounds lost. Now, in my case, if I want to lose two pounds in a week, and if I weren't exercising, then I would need to limit my calories to roughly 1,675 calories per day. But remember the value of exercising here, folks. After all, burning calories is just as effective when it comes to weight loss as is limiting the calories that you eat to begin with. So if you choose to burn an additional 500 calories a day by exercising, and if you exercise seven days a week, then you will burn 3,500 calories a week. And now you know 3,500 calories burned will equal another pound lost. So it's really just that easy. Know the number of calories that you need to eat every day to maintain your weight. Subtract 500 calories from that number per day for each pound that you wanna lose per week. But a word of caution, guys, losing too much weight too quickly can be dangerous and counterproductive. So most experts recommend that men cutting calories do not cut their calories below 1,800 calories a day. And the same experts recommend that women cutting their calories do not cut their calories below 1,200 calories a day. So that's it, folks. For Twin Doctors TV, I'm Dr. Jamil. Until next time, stay informed and stay healthy. Twin Doctors TV. Educate, inspire, entertain. Follow us at www.twindoctorstv.com and on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Stay healthy. Bye now.